I have a seven-year-old and him. One girl and one boy. Yeah, and I take care of my niece three days a week, so she's kind of mine, too. It's indescribable. I think everybody goes through their own different experience, but for me, it's it was just fulfillment, you know, and just joy. And, and, it, is, and it is kind of overwhelming because you think to yourself, I'm in charge of this. What if I mess it up? <laughs> but you don't. A good friend told me once, when Madeline was born, remember that you were here first. They've adapted into our lives, and of course we've adapted our lives to them. My husband and I have both lived by that, and we have very well-adjusted, happy children as a result of that. You know, we didn't tiptoe around the baby, because you can freak out when you have a new baby at home and all of a sudden shut down, and we've had friends who do that, and then they get themselves caught in a trap. Like they never baby. get to leave the house, and they, they live around this, this, this being, and then the being gets frustrated because the parents are frustrated and it snowballs. You just have to relax. Don't always anticipate what they need because they'll let you know when they need it. Some people get very worked up about, is she hungry? Is he hungry? Does he need a nap? Does he need the da 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 And they freak themselves out all day, and the kid's just like, chill out. Let me, I'll tell you when I'm hungry. I'll tell you when I'm tired. In general, I think that getting over self-doubt is probably for me the biggest challenge, just accepting and acknowledging that you're doing the right thing and it's all going to be okay. That's a big challenge. I think a lot of mothers go through that. I work too much. I don't do this. I don't do that. If you feel like you're doing a good job, then you are. Your kids reflect that. They let you know.